We undertook a study for beers a couple of years ago looking at costs and the determinants of costs in higher education. So we were particularly interested in looking at teaching of different types, research, property costs, widening participation, costs associated with that, looking at knowledge exchange, and looking at the impact that these had on the costs of each institution and thereby analysing the level of efficiency of each institution. And what we found was, as you'd expect, there's a distribution of efficiency across institutions. Some institutions are very efficient, others somewhat less so. Overall the level of efficiency is very high. Uh, there are some small specialist institutions which because of the idiosyncratic nature of their provision have relatively low efficiency scores using this methodology. But I think the benefit that we get from this methodology is that it points to those and it tells us well we need to do a bit more qualitative research into why the costs are high in those particular institutions. But it does give us a way of benchmarking and finding ways of learning from the best practice. One of the things that comes out of the research is that it's important to consider differences between institutions, not all of which you can observe using data. And that really begs a question about what do we define as efficiency? What are we allowed to, to class as uh, legitimate differences in the sources of costs of institutions and what we want to attribute to inefficiency.